Welcome back to episode 4 of Plants vs. Zombies 3. We encounter rain. Also a vase breaker. I wonder what could be in those vases. And I like how they got the sun vases. The signified sun. Can I break them all open? Oh, hi. <laughs> Did I fit? I failed vase breaker. I actually, I failed the PVZ3 vase breaker. There's water and there's some lily pads on the lawn. They got a lot of freedom with the lawns in this game. I'm so I'm putting the sunflowers. Oh, those puddles in the back, cause yeah, rainy. The gimmick is puddles. There's the first imp. You know, the imp has a really big head. Now that I look at it, like his head's way bigger than it should be. Uh, at least I, I feel like it's way bigger than it should be. They're all just coming down the middle lane. That's actually nice so I can uh, focus more on sun rather than um and on uh, getting defenses down for multiple lanes. I think the bamboo's got middle lane. Oh, I need more. I'm gonna... I put a walnut just in case. I don't know if that was necessary. Okay, I'm gonna put a pea shooter there. Hyposonic pea shooter. <laughs> Bonk's really good by the water because um, the zombies move slower. So far, no zombies in top and bottom lane have been spent. Yep, they're just gonna keep sending them in these middle three lanes. Wonder when they're gonna send a zombie top and bottom. I'm gonna put a bonk right here. Wonder, does bonk prioritize last or false? Like, zombies in front or zombies in behind? That's what I'm saying. He still has no zombies in top and bottom. Oh, that's crazy. I guess put, put a sunflower. Top and bottom, just put more defenses in the middle. Three. Oh, bottom lane, finally there's some zombies. I'm thinking we'll get a bonk. So now that one I can stall. I'm gonna put the bonk in the lily pad right there. Grapes got them. They even need defense for bottom lane. Now top lane. Put the bamboo in the puddle. Should clean up, right? Oh, they sent the garg in top lane. Three bamboos. Four bamboos. How many bamboos can we get? A lot of bam- Oh, it's, oh does this stall the Gorg infinitely? Yeah, I don't- Look, the Gorg can't get anywhere. Oh, he's moving- He's inching forward, but still. Yeah, bamboo stalling. He, he missed because he got stalled too much. Alright, he's got it. We got him. Long clear. Oh, there's more vase breaker. Oh, is this- Oh, I can try again. Alright, redemption. Okay, how do you do this? Is it as simple as this? But but then um Is this enough? No, it's not. No. No. Okay. This is the intended solution. Can you do that? Can you do this? Yeah, and that's how you clear it. Okay. I just realized I could have shoveled up the pea shooters and it would have been fine. I, I overcomplicated. You know, with the nighttime levels or the rainy levels, it's not actually nighttime. They just put a shader over it. Because if you look up at the top, you can see the sky. It's still the blue daytime sky. Which means they just made it demo. Like they lowered the brightness. But the plants are still the normal brightness. Yeah, puddles can't be on water. Because... That's water. Got two piece down. They're sending them in middle lane again. I guess I just like middle lane. Also, I think the sunflowers produce faster in the puddles. It does give the effect, but I don't know how noticeable noticeable it is or how much it is. They probably are a little more effective though. Hypersonic Snoopy. Go. the shovel don't want to shovel that don't need the lily pad oh huh? it's okay if they get the lily pad i have a lily pad plant i thought i didn't for a second all right that's a full 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 row of snow peas and um peas we should be looking pretty good especially because of the rain even more powerful like that bucket head top lane stands no chance grapes are about to activate soon too perfect defense symmetry symmetry is beautiful gonna have the perfect symmetrical defense 
I'm gonna make it symmetrical, even though there's that Snoopy. There's a whole row of Snoopy. There's no lawnmower launch in this game either. It'd be cool if you could drag the lawnmower and launch it early if you wanted. Maybe it'll be an upgrade. Maybe they'll add upgrades later down the line. Apparently level 66 is just actual... It's just terrible. He's taking so much damage, there's no way. We got him. Oh, I got an ad. What the heck? Oh, I see. Like, you get prizes. Higher you are on the leaderboard. Level 61. So everything's gonna be OP on this line. They probably know that, though. They're gonna send hella zombies out. Yeah, they're really sending out the zombies. Right, let's get a snow pee down. Okay, top lane's a problem. I think we're gonna lose that sunflower. Alright, Snoopy's got it. Slowed him down. Might lose top lane, actually. Yeah, just take top lane. Yeah, that's a, that's a splash right there. I say we're good to speed up. Perfect symmetrical defense. For the win. Yeah, perfect symmetrical defense. And three points from that zombie. Lunch time. Let's go. And we get a chili pepper. Hole in one. Beat levels on your first try to earn rewards. Oh, that's what that pinata was for. Or that uh, lunchbox. 62 hard level. I'm, just, I'm gonna spam down sunflowers and then I'll slowly shovel them out when I get more defense. So all sending them in bottom middle. All the zombies. There's the pigeons. Squash that pigeon, dude. No pigeons for you. Oh, they're breaking through. Come on, lightning reeds. Don't be trash, please. It's like they're flicking the zombies, but just tapping them lightly. Like, hey, could you die? Could you die. Yeah, the damage isn't very crazy on the lightning reeds. This one needs a walnut. Because they can just walk right through once they get past the walnuts in top and bottom. That lightning reach in a puddle, so it's gonna attack really fast. When there's sunflower there for stalling purposes, but it might make the gorgs go down. Oh no, it got eaten. Alright, we got grapes. That is a level completed. Think we can kill him? I say we can kill him. Yeah. Didn't even need that splash. Round 63 in BTD6. The zombie's like wearing a scarf. Not a tie. Why the heck is Dave's mailbox just have mail on the ground in the lawn? Yeah, this this level is just letting me get defense down. Barely sending anything whatsoever. Uh, top middle has a good bit of zombies. Oh, basic though. There's some cone heads. I guess you can just, yeah, just squash them. We interrupt this squashing broadcast to bring you Old Spice. <laughs> now they're dead. Grapes launching grapes. Yeah, why is this level so easy? Alright. Okay. I could fall asleep on this level, it's so easy. No difficulty at all. Find a wave soon. More cone heads. Maybe splash that. Oh, it got both. Kind of a big splash radius. Two gugs at the end, though. But how dangerous is that gonna be? And um, the imp's never a threat. The imp from the guard. Never a threat. Honestly, gorgs in this game aren't that threatening because they always send them at the end after everything. So you have plenty of time to deal with them. You're not too preoccupied with other things. Apparently, it gets difficult though. Once you get later on in the game, zombie spam goes crazy. That is going to be it for episode 4 of Plants vs. Zombies 3. Thank you for watching and consider subscribing because this video took a lot of work.